Welcome to a new Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this awesome peephole effect inside of Final Cut as always, well not always, but most of the times without any plugins. So this effect is from my latest short film which came out last Sunday, which for me is today. In case you haven't watched it, you can watch it by clicking right up here. But first watch this tutorial, or first watch the film, because then you get spoiled Well, it's at the beginning of the film. Anyways, let's jump right in. You can decide for yourself. So this is the clip that I recorded for this effect. I don't know if I have a behind the scenes for this. Our door has a peephole, but I just opened the door for this shot. I did not film through the peephole because then you wouldn't have to create an effect, I guess. But I just shot through an open door acting out that I'm a bad person, an invader that wants to get inside our apartment. So yeah, I just knocked into nothing, into the void. But we can always just add some sound effects back in later. Okay, so I'm going to mute this clip for now. So this is the clip we're going to work with. I'm just looking behind me. Oh my god, is someone seeing me because I want to, I really want to go in this apartment. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is go to the generators tab on the left side up here. Then we take a custom generator and put it on top of our clip and then also of course shorten it to the length of our clip. Then we go to the effects tab on the right side down here and search for mask. We're going to take a shape mask and put that onto the custom layer and then we're going to invert the mask. Now we have to create a circular shape for our peephole effect. You could of course also just create this shape or even create a rectangular peephole, but I guess most peepholes are in fact circular. So we're going to create a circle for our people in this tutorial. Next we're going to duplicate this clip down here by clicking the options button on the keyboard and then just dragging it up or down and we have duplicated this layer. This is not necessary but it's always nice to have a backup to fall back onto in case you mess something up on the clip you're working with. Always create your backups. So then we're going to select our upper clip and in the effects tab search for the fish eye effect. Drag that onto the clip and now you can really play around with how much distortion you want to have in your image. I wouldn't take it too far because then you have this kind of smurry, it's it's not pretty, because then it's so distorted. Of course, we also have to put the radius down by a little bit and then we can play around with the amount of the fisheye effect a little bit more. I'd go with about six or seven, maybe 6.5, it looks pretty good. Then we can change the radius and also we could change the position but not too much because you have to keep it of course in the circle of the people. Now we can play it, looks pretty good. Already pretty convincing but we're gonna take it a few steps further. Next we're going to duplicate this clip again, this time it's not for a backup but we're gonna work with it. Now select the upper clip and search for the Gaussian blur. Put the Gaussian blur onto your upper clip and then again you can play with the amount until it fits your likings. I'm gonna go with around 10. Of course we don't want the entire image to be that blurry so we're going to search for the mask effect again. Drag the mask shape onto it and then we have to invert it again and create a circular shape again but this time it's a little bit smaller than the circle of our people. Now we have a blur around the edge of our people. Last thing we have to do, this is of course also optional, you could leave it there but to make it a little bit more convincing I also put a dirty lens effect in between our clip layer and our peephole custom generator. It has a black background right now so I'm going to put the blending mode to add and then it's a bit too much for my taste so I'll put the opacity to around 10 percent. Now you can see we have a few dust particles on the peephole which makes it even more realistic because most of the peepholes, especially in some dirty motels where this effect takes place a lot, you want to have some dirt on your peephole because it's dirty there. Yeah, it just makes it a little bit more realistic and convincing that this is really filmed through a peephole. And there we have it. That's our finished peephole effect. I've said peephole way too many times in this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and got the result that you were looking for. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more amazing filmmaking tutorials, videos all around that topic on this channel. You can watch more videos right here and right here. Here's um, a short film this effect is from and you can subscribe right here and I will hopefully see you in the next video goodbye no I'm going to close this video with a people <laughs> goodbye